hello and in this video I will show you object types first one is mesh and when you select object type mesh means that uh, this debris this mesh filter mesh will be simulated and uh, it will be demolished if you will demolish object this mesh will be fragmented so I'll start simulation start play mode and I will initialize this component and now you can see that this object got its mesh collider or this mesh and uh, well if we, I will want to demolish the subject set it to runtime this is the mesh which will be fragmented okay uh, this fragments which you see here there also has mesh object type but uh, they all have this root one empty root so there are a lot uh, about uh, 100 fragments but in some cases it's hard to select all these fragments because other objects getting selected so we need to go to this uh, hierarchy view and then select them here and then apply rigid component to every fragment and then if you will decide to change some properties you will need to select them again just to change this property so instead of doing this you can uh, use this mesh root object type in this case you have the same empty root with a bunch of fragments like this like this uh, but instead of applying rigid component to every fragment here as you can see they don't have rigid component instead of this you apply this uh, one rigid component to this empty root and set here mesh root and when you start play mode you'll see that uh, every fragment has the same rigid component it's exactly the same properties as its um, root object has so instead of messing with all the objects under one root you can just apply one rigid component to the suit and then just uh, set up your properties in one rigid component instead of selecting every fragment and then changing properties for all the rigid components so this is mesh root basically the same as mesh but instead of creating a lot of rigid components you can create just one and it will apply that it will add the same component to all the fragments uh, next um, object type is nested cluster and cluster means that uh, object will be simulated as one solid uh, object so let me first let me show you uh, what it has inside so nested cluster means that it has uh, several uh, nest kind of nests so nest basically just an empty empty object you can see there is only transform and every nest can has even more nests so in this case I, I divided my uh, the group of my fragments I divided to two pieces like this one and this one and then every uh, uh, every nest has another uh, group of other two groups so this nest divides into this one and this one and the same for this one and this so uh, why you should use nest is when you want to demolish your object exactly as you want so first I will start simulation and, uh, and uh, before I will initialize this rock which will demolish them I want to show you that when uh, this uh, method cluster was initialized it got uh, mesh colliders for every fragment it has so you can see a lot of mesh colliders and now it can sim it can be simulated as one object and when it was demolished you can see it was demolished to nest which I predefined before so actually let me first increase my solidity to show you how it simulates so for now we can see that this empty root which has these two nests it has not any mesh it just uh, one rigid component now and a lot of colliders so right now it simulates as one as one object 
and when it will be demolished. Uh, let me decrease my solidity back. So if I will initialize this rock, you'll see that first it demolishes to these two pieces. Now every nest simulates separately, and then uh, every nest also getting demolished to another uh, groups. So this is how nested cluster works. You can start, you can simulate all your fragments as one solid object. And when you will decide to demolish this object, it will be demolished just as you plan it to be demolished. So in some cases, this might be useful for you. And the last object type is a connected cluster object type. And uh, if you will simulate connected cluster, it will simulate just like nested cluster. It also will create a bunch of uh, rigid, uh, a bunch of colliders here. And if I will take it and move it here, you can see that it simulates just one solid object again. Uh, difference is that how it will be demolished. Instead of, uh, as, as I saw before, nested cluster should have these nests here. Connected cluster should have all the fragments as a children. Uh, there should not be any nests or any empty woods here, just one uh, layer of children. So when you start simulate connected cluster, it simulates just nested, but uh, if I will start demolish this connected cluster using these three rocks, I will initialize them. So now you'll see, I will turn off shaded wireframe. After first collision, you see that the uh, original cluster was demolished. And now we have this one cluster here and bunch of groups of separated mesh uh, objects here. They have this object type mesh. They have their own rigid component and will, they will be simulated separately. And this area was released from cluster just because collision happened here. So this is how uh, connected cluster demolishes. They demolish depends on uh, contact point. And now let me simulate further. So now you can see the second rock uh, hit this cluster and now another group of fragments released. So this area of fragments right now clusterized. As you can see, uh, all fragments still inside this um, cluster is still connected. So now let's wait for third rock. And again, original cluster was demolished. And now you can see that we have one uh, cluster here and one cluster here. And all the fragments uh, between these two clusters right now simulate separately. And this is how connected cluster works uh, again. Uh, it simulates one cluster, but when it see that uh, there is no any connection between this cluster after demolition, then it creates several clusters and every cluster starts simulate separately again. You can see that this one is connected cluster and this one is also connected cluster. Is it, uh, they, uh, every connected cluster has uh, its own uh, colliders. So now if now you will see that um, well, every cluster simulates separately and can be demolished further. Maybe if I will just take it. Oh. Now you can see it also was demolished several pieces here. So uh, this is how connected cluster works and again it was demolished so this is the only cluster which are left so uh, this is how object types works uh, there is also um, skin mesh object type but it's under development right now and sometimes it works buggy so uh, later I will create special video tutorial uh, about how to demolish skin mesh objects for now that's it uh, thank you for watching